to win that matchup. Oh yeah, I think the biggest thing that Sonic has going for him is, you know, of course speed. Fox is one of the fastest characters in the game, but yeah. Sonic's even faster. Now, Fox as a whole can fight back against that because he has lasers, so he can yeah. actually force their approach in his matchup if he wants to without committing too heavy to anything. But well, starting game one, Smashville, and again, yep. Sonic versus Fox. Oh, just grabs the run up. That was that was nice. All right, and the kill stage off to a fantastic start, getting that grab already. So you yeah. know that positional pressure is in play and making Sonic not want to move. So that's yep, Fox's definitely. entire game plan. Keep this rat off the ground. Yep, just keep him in the air. All right, 64. Oh, oh, okay, I like that up smash. Not even saving it for the kill. Just yeah. keep giving him and get him as much damage as he can. Yeah, definitely. Just rack it up. Get that that Sonic I uh, Fox Vortex, you know? Oh yeah, and Both I like these what characters are kind of vortexy, really. Oh yeah, I like what the kill chase is doing right there. He's waiting for Wrath to corner himself and then applying the pressure there. You just saw the grab. Got him the 114 already. So the kill is definitely showing his knowledge as a matchup, but nice mix up there on the spring from Wrath, getting him back to neutral and ooh, good call outs. This yeah. is where Sonic gets his game going. Yeah, bread and butter. The up throw stuff. Oh, yeah. All right. Rats has a jump. Should be able to make his back pretty safely. Yeah. Oh. All right. And we see the mix-up. Just running out of the corner, Stop. getting himself back to neutral. Oh, oh, he died. Oh, yeah. And I think the kill stage may have tried to challenge with a downer or yeah, backer right there. I'm not sure. Yeah. Just he a definitely didn't match air dodge. I think he could have air dodged out of that, but I'm not sure. Oh, yeah. So what do you think the kill stage has to do to bring this back? Because, you know, he had such a strong start. Oh, but man. Then... Like, he just he can't get grabbed, man. He, he was just throwing out attacks, and then, and then Rat just started whiff punishing him with Sonic's incredible speed and just like, grabbed him, you know? It's like, so you need to maybe chill a little bit. Oh, yeah. That's definitely one thing I agree with. You have to play patient against Sonic. Even oh, if yeah. you don't have the lead, you have to. It's Ooh. it's so annoying that you have to do that, though, and that's part of the problem that people have with Sonic because you have to play a certain way, and then oh, yeah. a lot of people, they don't like doing that. Oh, so. yeah. It's a very, very, very swingy character in the sense that you take the first stock against Sonic, the rest of the game is significantly easier. If yeah. you lose that, it's But when really Sonic hard. has a league... A lead? I mean, oh man. It's oh, yeah. <laughs> when Fox has you in the air, like you see what the kill stage is doing right now, yeah. uh, you know, this is maybe something that can be run back. Uh, maybe not always the game off the first stock. All right. Tight battle, even game. Oh, we're going to see the two frame? Uh, not quite. Why is he going low? Delaying his recovery to not eat that force smash to the mouth. Yep. Yeah, going low is usually a good way to avoid that. Makes it way harder to time. Ooh. Risky, but I like the mix-up from Wrath. Did yeah, get him back to neutral. Nice. Just took a dash attack. Seven up smash. Yeah, he's looking for the grab. He's going to give him an air dodge? No. Not quite. All right, patience, patience, patience. Just runs in. The kill Sage, risky side B. Gets called out again. Yep, with his F tilts, man. All right, and again, you see the kill Sage backing off, waiting by the ledge, looking for that spin dash to come out just so he can have enough time to yeah. react to it and punish appropriately. Pass the ledge again. No damage. We're good. Oh, and Wrath. Wisely not going to the platform. Fox yeah. more than fast enough to catch him anywhere yeah, he decides definitely. to go. Oh, he's just spamming side B. <laughs> I love that, though. He got the little cancel on it and got the mix-up. It works. It's a good move. <laughs> oh, yeah. You have to commit to punishing the corner, but then the kill stage is already not there. So it's a little neat trick right there just to get him yeah. out of center stage. Oh, he's looking yeah, for Yeah, the kill stage is... What oh. I like what he's doing is like he's really everything he do does is about controlling the stage. Like he's always even if you can't like win a certain oh. reaction, he's gonna make sure he has the best positioning possible for what uh, options are ahead of him. Oh yeah, absolutely. So I just want to point out in his play again, I think what really got him that match near the end was his willingness to give up stage control whenever he saw Sonic coming through with the spin dash. Um, just his ability to predict the spin dash and just to stay where he needs to, to stay safe and to punish the spin dash appropriately, whether that be through positioning or damage, was what gave him that game. Yeah, that was, it was really nice the way he positioned himself. Oh yeah, a nice, safe mix-up right there. Sonic's up here being actually plus three on block, meaning he can act before you can, yep. if he spaces it appropriately. Yep, definitely. But the kill stage, not really worried about any of that. Quick, oh, 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 just grabbed okay. him. <laughs> the confidence in his man. Dude, that was the, the most confident grab I've ever seen. What mix-up, homie? You yeah. just get into my hands. Yeah. What do you mean? 
I mean, he used that mix-up last game, so he's like, I know, I know you're gonna do it again. Like, <laughs> oh yeah, but Raph definitely not out of this yet. Getting a quick 55 back on him. Yep. Oh, and the oh, super amazing the landing. Out. I love that right there. Coercing him to the platform, realizing that once Sonic touched that platform, he was committed to the spin dash. Got right under him where he needed to be and converted on that stock. Yeah, if you want to be good at this matchup, you have to learn how to catch Sonic's landings, and that's a perfect demonstration right there by the Jekyll Sage. Oh, yeah, but now we have to see on Rapson what he's going to do to run this back. Because, again, Sonic without a lead is a very, very risky character and commits yeah. to a lot of his approaches. Oh, nice wait. Oh, beefy up B to hit him. That was nice. Oh, yeah. Getting him back to the stage, but ending in his stock anyway. So nice yeah. on Raph to convert right there. 11% right, to zero. That's pretty much even, so. Oh, yeah. Now, one thing that I'm curious about is uh, Raph's choice of Smashville again. You know, typically I'd expect Sonic to want a bit more room to play his game. Um, but then again, that does give Fox the ability to laser camp him a bit more. So maybe that's why we see the choice of Smashville. Um, definitely not the worst pick because, you know, he's still in there. But right now, the kill stage, racking up that damage. Yeah, getting all that damage is playing around a Rask game plan so well. All right, good. Tech trace read. And another grab. Oh. All right, up tilt, up air. Dang, that was a really smart call out with the up tilt. Just saying, like, you missed the dare. Like, here's an up tilt. Like, I feel like a lot of players would be scared of just sitting shield. But he was just like... I hit you. Oh, yeah. Now, the kill stage right there, maybe getting a little too greedy, but you can afford it at this percent. Can take maybe two or three more spin dashes before it gets a little scary. Oh, grab. Oh, yeah. Oh, he DI'd yeah, in. That That's was not what you want to do right there. Yeah, that that was true with that DI. I oh, think. yeah. yeah. Wrath, knowing that specifically, while that platform is moving forward, if you DI straight in or, to or away, you will get caught by that up there. It's completely guaranteed. Um, so the correct DI is behind Sonic. Just get as far away from the platform as possible. Yeah. Um, Kill Shades maybe not recognizing that right there, and it's going to go to Wrath. So good on him. Uh, game three coming up right now. This is a best of five set, so we got plenty more action coming at you. FD, I really agree with this counter pick because, like I said earlier, catching Sonic's landings is pretty key in the matchup. And uh, Fox, there's nowhere to run. When Sonic is getting juggled, He's going to get a juggle hard. Oh, yeah. And maybe I stand corrected from earlier. We see the kill stage pull out the blaster, but uh, Sonic, even then, more than quick enough to catch him and only really getting a couple of percent out of it. Meanwhile, Fox sitting at 74. Definitely nothing to scoff at. But, okay, the kill stage able to play his game, keep him in the air. Yep. Yeah, we're going to see this matchup. FD is going to polarize this matchup. This is going to make... Each of these characters' advantage state so much better. Oh it's yeah, just kinda and disadvantage that much that worse. That much worse, yeah, exactly. And we start off the bat, Wrath converting heavily. Yeah, Wrath is uh is on a on a roll. He got. I feel like that that kill last game gave him a, a lot of confidence. And oh he's yeah, playing so much better now. Yeah. Oh yeah, and if you notice, the kill stage maybe not getting the conversion he wants to off these juggles because you know he's getting Sonic in the air. But Wrath has just been so evasive whenever he's landing on the ground. He's not really eating the up airs that the Kill Sage definitely wants. He does right there. Um, but Kill Sage falling behind in percent ever so slightly. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, the Kill Sage is going to want to close this out pretty soon if he wants to have a chance. Oh, oh getting tricky with it. I see him Yeah, he's knowledge. getting tricky. <laughs> <laughs> All right, back air uh, trade. Not something you can really afford, but take what you can get at this point. Yeah. <laughs> Fox Classic. There's a lot of active frames on that forward smash, so it's not not that much cooldown. So it's like it's a risk reward type thing. Oh yeah, and covers neutral get up if I remember correctly, and get up attack if you do it, and yeah. just jumping from the ledge, which Wrath gave. Oh, he really wanted to see him right there, but that may uh, have cost him the, this game. Another yeah, one, and that'll be he it. He tried the cheese. Uh, he wanted the fast fall for it so badly. He wanted it. But Sonic, definitely one of the best recoveries in the game, is easily able to drift out of the range and make it back with room to spare. And Raph's going to take game two, or game three, excuse game me. Game three, yep. Off of that. All right, so let's see where the kill stage runs it back to. Um, I get the idea behind FD because I was thinking the same thing again. Uh, let me get my laser camp game in. Um, Sonic will have to force, or he'll be forced to approach, but I'll be able to get as much damage as I can from this without having to risk anything. But obviously, Raph making me and the kill stage eat our thoughts. Eat our words, yeah. Oh, yeah. So he's just going to go back to Smash Bowl where he knows he's comfortable. They played 
They played game one on this stage. Oh, game yeah. Game one and two, I think, so. Yeah, it definitely wasn't a bad game either way. Uh, Could have went either way with the last games. Uh, I do want to point out that the kill stage did a good job of playing around the platform when it was there. Uh, made the best of it, you know, he had an up smash conversion off the platform, actually. One of the games that we had. So. Yeah, game one, he got a double up air up smash. It was really clean. Oh, yeah. So maybe he's willing to try it out again just to see what can happen and what he can change out. Yeah, shooting those lasers, the chip damage is, is pretty good. Oh, yeah. Being much more careful about it. Not shooting any more than one or two. Realizing just how fast Sonic can get to oh, him yeah. off of that. Doesn't matter if Sonic's all the way on the other side of the stage, he'll, he'll teleport to you. Oh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he gets right in the face. Oh, nice Ooh, pivot I grab. love that pivot grab right there. That was very nice. Oh, yeah. Won't see too much of that in two weeks, but you know, it's, it's nice while it lasts. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the back air trades. But yeah, that move is definitely going to be up Fox's down air, so. All right. And Sage has Sonic in the air. Ooh, whipping that grab right there. That's going to cost him 18%. Um, not too bad yet, but he has to make something happen soon. Otherwise, Sonic is definitely going to snowball this into another W. Yeah. Raph just seems so much more comfortable. He's just doing his thing. And yeah, I don't know, anytime Raph gets his lead, man, like sometimes I just consider the game to be over when he has the stock lead. Yeah, it's it so definitely feels hard. like that. <laughs> it's so, so hard to crack his defense once he has it. Okay, okay yeah, guys correctly. Yeah, there, there we go. Yeah, that, uh, that's how I'm not costing him the game. Okay, staying patient, but Spring's going to poke him from the back. All right, Kill Sage throwing out one laser, trying to get something out of Wrath, but Wrath is not giving it to him. Oh, oh and a mix-up on the air the dodge, catching him Yo, at 89%. That was nice. Wrath moving on to top eight qualifiers. Solid gameplay. Solid. That man was putting in work. Yeah, that, he was playing good, dude. All right, so moving back on. Where that may have been it. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> well, for right now, for those of you that are currently tuning in, thank you for watching us on Recursion.gg. Hopefully, we'll have another match, but I'm not too sure right now. Um, so we're winding down here on Smash 4 yep. in terms of top eight. So right now, who, who, who else is in the bracket right now? I believe it's Fatality. Karna and uh, Salem. I don't know if they played on the mainstream, though. Let me update the bracket. Yeah, they're, they're a little bit far away. But in case you're just now tuning in, top eight is looking like Tweak, Salem, 